The third and final stage of the leadership race for the WTO, the World Trade Organization, is now underway. Eight candidates have made themselves known, and now the members of the WTO, which operates by consensus, will try and reach a consensus on who should be the next leader, taking over, of course, as soon as possible. Hamid Mamdou is the Egypt's uh, candidate. He's the former director of trade at WTO Services Division. He joins me now. And, um, sir, you're different to all the others. They are politicians, they're ministers, they come with great rank. You are, so to speak, a technocrat, and you believe that the politician is the problem. Well, thank you, Richard, for having me. I, uh, I don't think the politician is the problem, but I think the WTO now needs a different kind of leadership. We've been having political leaders for the past 25 years. The only exception is uh, the, 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 the last one. Uh, but the WTO is facing an existential crisis now, and the solution out of this is going to be in negotiating reform package. And that is a different kind of an exercise. Of course, it's about political vision, but you need to anchor the political solutions into the substantive details of how this system functions. And this is where I'm coming from. I think the WTO needs an honest broker who has the political vision and also has the knowledge to suggest solutions to isn't the membership. The, isn't the pro but, but, but isn't the real problem with that that every candidate I've spoken to says that there needs to be new will, new drive, new ideas, new ideas. But you've all been around. The WTO has languished on all of your watches. Absolutely. This is the problem, which is we're not having the right kind of conversations in the WTO because we're dealing with the problems from the long, the, the wrong aspect of it, the wrong end of it, which is the politics of trade. Of course, it's very political, but to find solutions to political problems, you need to have the right substantive right. formula for it. And, and that's not something that you can you can mobilize simple political will for. You need to find the solutions through the right conversations. You'll know what I mean when I ask you this. Um, have you got the right pizzazz? Have you got the, the leadership zing? Can you stand there and look Donald Trump, assuming he wins uh, 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 for the purpose of this question, to look them in the eye or Boris Johnson are you are you able to do that? Well, I have been almost doing that for the past uh, 30 years at different degrees, not at the level of heads of states, but certainly with ministers. Because the argument about having a, a, a politician is that this will give you access to political leaders. But my point here is that if you're director general of the WTO, you do have access. The real question is when you have access, what do you do with, with it? What kind of conversations would you have behind closed doors with USTR in Washington or the Trade Commissioner in Brussels or the Chinese Trade Minister in, in Beijing or with any political leader anywhere? It's how you mobilize the kind of substantive arguments that would inspire the enlightened self-interest oh. that would lead them to see the WTO as a solution and not the problem. Inspire the enlightened self-interest. Now, there's a thought for you. Good luck, sir, in your candidacy. We'll follow closely and see how things go. I appreciate you giving us time uh, tonight on uh, Quest Means Business. And uh, just a reminder to viewers uh, that there are eight candidates. We will have spoken to all of them as the countries make their decision. They work by consensus, which means it's a messy process and we don't really get an idea of who's won until just about the end. There's no voting, or at least there's never has been so far.